Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of 410 Sports Talk. I'm James Haskell, along with my uh, co-host, Glenn Martin. And some more injury news slash roster news for the Baltimore Ravens in this very last waning week of NFL Week 18, which, Glenn, I got to be honest with you, I'm not a very big fan of um, at this point. So, the extended season, yeah, you mean? And it sounds like the players aren't too happy. Like the guys breaking records. I heard uh, Cooper Cup talking about it well as well. He's like, "Yeah, I don't know. Now that I didn't do it in 17 weeks, it doesn't feel the same, and you know things like that." And so, anyway, um, we're gonna get into this here. But before we do, mm -hmm. uh, take a second, hit the subscribe button, give us a like. That way, our stuff is always popping up on your algorithm because that's mm -hmm. how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the easiest way to help us out, of course, and support the show. And don't forget, if you're out there looking for a job or if you're looking to hire someone, check out LinkedInJobs.com, which, as we all know, is the largest uh, social network for those looking for a job and those uh, hiring. And if you are hiring, you can get a free job posting using LinkedIn jo uh, LinkedInJobs.com uh, forward slash 410, 410 on us. Get a free job post. Uh, if you're the owner of a small business, a hiring manager, large business, doesn't matter. Go check it out. But Glenn, enough of my flapping the gums. Mm -hmm. What is the news that we're here to talk about? Yeah, the Ravens announced today that they have placed tight end Nick Boyle and fullback Pat Ricard on the reserve COVID-19 list. And then they subsequently placed Pat Ricard on IR with a knee injury, effectively ending his season. Um, so it's another ba bit of bad news. I mean, Nick Boyle... You know, he missed the first nine games coming back from that knee injury, but then played two games, then missed two games, and then played the last three games. So he's had a bit of an in-and-out type of season as he continues to come back with what was described later on as to be a very severe and extensive injury to his knee. It wasn't as simple as a, you know, an ACL tear. It was, it was much more extensive of damage. So um, while he, I guess he has a chance to play, I, I – Actually, I don't think he even does. Even with the new with the new shortened um, shortened window here, I I, st I think both of their seasons are likely over now. If the Ravens are able to win and go into the playoffs, we're we're kind of at this point a little unclear, and we were trying to find some clarification on what this means if the Ravens are able to get into the playoffs for their availability, and we, we weren't able to come up with a result for that, were we, Jim? Yeah, no, I mean, the only thing that we know of is the, like, the designated to return. Of course, that was, you know, it's infamous. It will forever be tied to Ray Lewis coming back and, you know, making the mm -hmm. his last ride and stuff like that. But I don't know how it works at this point. Um, and honestly, I think based on the fact that there's no news about it and the fact that they already placed him on IR only means one thing. What's that? I think in the heart of hearts, they know they're not making the playoffs. You know, mm -hmm. why else would you, or one of two things, that or the injury is just that bad. Right to where they're yeah, like, you know they what? Want to it's, risk next year. Yeah, even if we're in the playoffs, uh, you know, Pat, it, it's only going to get worse, right? Based on the physicality yeah. of his position and things like that. So, um, and as we've seen from Nick Boyle, if you have an injury late in this season, it's certainly going to carry over to next year. And I guess they're they're probably also avoiding that. Now, as far as how it affects this weekend, uh, you know, Nick Boyle, while at his best at his height, was extremely important to this, and he still is. But at this point, we're not getting 100% Nick Boyle. We're getting yeah. uh, a lesser version of that. So while it hurts to lose Nick Boyle, I think the loss of Pat Ricard for this weekend is far greater. I mean, mm -hmm. when you look at what – first of all, what the, the Steelers are vulnerable at is is the run game. That's where you can get them because they they have a ferocious pass rush. That you know They got T.J. Watt who's looking to break the sack record this weekend um, as he sits with, I think, 21 and a half and the record is 22 and a half. Mm -hmm. They have Cam Hayward in the middle, and the only way you can really gash these guys is by a strong run attack, and they, and they have certainly shown they're vulnerable to that. Well, Pat Ricard is maybe the most important piece to that because of his versatility and his ability to block, you know, as, as big as the down lineman, you know, defensive tackle, defensive end, he can handle that. He can also, you know, get to the next level and handle your faster, more fleet of foot linebackers, and he can even get to the third level and take on safeties and corners. So his athleticism – and his versatility and that he can block anyone on the defense, it's a it's a huge absence. I mean, people he's a pro bowler, and I get that there's not many people who use a, a fullback, and so he has a bit of an easier road to that. He's still a, a, an extremely talented uh, player, and he might be 
one of the best pound for pound athletes in all of football when he's a 305 pound uh, fullback who is all muscle and 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 can move the way he can yep. move. So I think it's a huge loss for the Ravens. Big time. Versatility is everything. And then when you compound that with the fact that we Nick Boyle is now out and you're talking about the running, because a lot of times if Ricard is out, you'll see Boyle in the backfield or mm-hmm. you'll, you'll see Tomlinson or, you know, Andrews, something like that in the backfield. But now you have your two best blockers outside of those on the offensive line out. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's definitely going to be a predicament that the Ravens are in. Uh, however, with that said, Glenn, I will go on. I will go. Uh, out on a limb and say that he will not break the sack record this game. I just think it's going to be one of those things where the Ravens won't let it, like we are not going to be on the bad side of history. I just don't think they're going to let it happen through hook or crook. They're not going to let it happen. Not going to be on the bad side of history. Um, they'll just let so, any, they're like, look, anyone else can sack yep. the quarterback, but that yep. guy, yeah, not he ain't getting to him. He ain't getting yep. to yeah, him. The reason I, th- I heard Bill Cowher talking about this when Jamal Lewis was close to breaking the 2000 yard re- record and he walked in the locker room and said, hey, boys, not this game. Whatever happens, Jamal Lewis ain't breaking the record this game, and he didn't. Mm. All right, it took it took a, an extra game or whatever the case ended up being. But uh, yeah, I mean, nonetheless, huge loss. Just another way to end this insane season that Eric DaCosta uh, has to- has said that he will write a book about one day. Uh, just just a crazy one. Another feather in the cap. Another arrow in the quiver of a goofy season. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is at this point, right? Hopefully, they recover. Hopefully they don't spread COVID to their family and friends and loved yeah. ones and, and ho- children. Yeah, no doubt. Hopefully they bounce back. Um, and have but a it doesn't, season. Yeah, exactly. And that and that's really, especially for a guy like Nick Boyle, who who you know fought his tail off to get back and and was able to play some this year. Um, so we expect him closer to being the Nick Boyle of old next year, and he'll certainly be valuable when he comes back. And as same can be said with Pat Ricard, he's not going anywhere either. Um, so. Man, it's just uh, it's been a tough year, but it looks like even if the Ravens are able to get in, I don't think they'll be having. Um, well, I don't think they'll have Pat Ricard. They might get Nick Boyle back, um, yeah. but we'll wait and see what happens. But let us know what you guys think. Are yep. you? Um, do you think it's just one of these things where we should just shelve both of them and make sure they're good next year? Because we don't want a case where you know either one of these guys get hurt and now you miss them again for the first nine weeks of next year, and then they're coming back and they're they're still a shell of themselves. We need a healthy all season for both, but let us know. Do you think they should try and get them back if they do make the playoffs? Should they try and and explore all their options, or they should they just shelf these guys and 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 wait and see what happens next year? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below, and we will talk soon. See ya. See ya.